What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, boy, I haven't been here in the man cave in a few days, and we had a power failure and didn't realize that my microphone was out, and we had some da 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 breaking news here. Um, about one Dak Prescott that we posted a video about a half an hour ago and I didn't realize because I am an idiot here new media which does not have a uh, group of people that do all of this stuff um, to back us up to make sure that we actually have sound to actually have sound so about uh, about 45 minutes ago I posted a video, and let me show you exactly what we're talking about here. Um, let me show you what we're talking about. Juan Carlos Vasquez, okay, posted a vid picture here. Um, Dak Prescott, um, and it's in Spanish. Let's translate. Dak Prescott was in Los Cabos this weekend in the pool. He walked normally, but the photo of the quarterback showed he has an injury to his right ankle. Hashtag NFL. Okay, so that's what was right there. And here's the picture of him in the pool. Um, and my first question was, is this picture's legitimate? And let's go back through it. He said this weekend. So this weekend would have been, of course, um, you know, a few days ago, um, Juan Castro, uh, Castro is, um, again, let's translate his bio, um, is a play by play, uh, founder of LFA, but it was stolen from me. He does have a YouTube channel. He does have 115,000 uh, followers, and he's following 1,600 people. And if we go to his YouTube channel, he's got 154 uh, subscribers with 52 videos. Um, so there's that. Now, here's the thing. Here's a couple bits of things. A couple bits of things that I've gotten since... Um, I saw this and posted the original video with no sound. So I will delete that one and upload this one instead. I have made a call to a very close person to one Dak Prescott who said this. He's in Nashville or was in Nashville this week. So it's possible he could have been at Cabo this past weekend after leaving tight end you we don't know if there is anything we don't know if this picture is legitimate okay we don't know could be somebody who looked like dak prescott in a walking boot could be photoshopped it could be real we don't know we can only report what we know but what we do know is this with it being three weeks before training camp three weeks before training camp dak prescott was at tight end you throwing the football around, looking fine, allegedly left tight end you to go to Cabo where he was wearing a walking boot, allegedly, and then went to Nashville. If, this is what Uncle Philip said to me, if Dak were really hurt, A, he would have heard about it, B, he wouldn't be doing a world tour in Nashville, in Cabo, and all these places. He would be getting his leg worked on right now, which makes 100% sense. You know, you wouldn't say, that's okay, I'm going to walk around on a walking boot. You know, I'm going to hang out in the pool with a bad ankle, with a bad wheel here, and risk getting hurt. I'm going to be hanging out on a pier on a pier and i'm gonna go out on a boat where the boat's gonna be rocking back and forth in the water with a bad ankle think about that have you ever been on a boat you know there's a hurricane that is boiling you know running i know it's the other side of of the uh, the, the the of mexico and stuff but still it's bad weather that was going that way but be that as it may 
be that as it may, we're going to chalk this one up to, I don't really think that this is it. Okay. Or if it is injured, if it is an injury, um, it's very, very, very minor. Very, very minor. Because if it was major, he would be getting it worked on in treatment before training camp. So we'll see if there is anything to this. Um, this is the at least the family update on what's going on. And I will say, um, before anybody says that you're a freaking idiot and you don't know anything or Uncle Philip wouldn't know anything, this, that, and the other, um, a funny thing happened. When Dak Prescott had his ankle literally severed and had the first surgery, I had a conversation with Philip, and he had told me about the second surgery, which was on a Monday night. I was talking about it on my live stream. Didn't think much of it because, as he put it, they went in. There's some scar tissue from previous injuries and things. Nothing that had anything to do with the ankle being broken or severed. It was just like, you know, bone spurs and things like that that were in the foot. That they went in and they cleaned it up. And, you know, of course, he was fine. It was no big deal. And that's the way I took it from Philip and said, it's no big deal. And then lo and behold... By Saturday, you were hearing the Mike Fishers and the Adam Scheffners. Dak Prescott has a second surgery. And I was like, yeah, I talked about that first part of the week. Of course, I'm, I'm just a guy with the voodoo doll in his mama's basement, and we don't know anything. But we will monitor this and see if there's any other pictures that pop up or anything else and so on. And if we do hear anything more on it, we will be sure to bring it to you. Again, Juan Carlos Vasquez um, has the original pictures here or posted. And again, we don't know if these are his pictures or if he reposted somebody else's pictures. So that's all we know. That's all we know. Because the pictures he has on his on his Twitter channel before that are people ski jumping. And it's hot as shit here. Ski jumping is the last thing you have on your mind. But then again, what do I know? I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you guys are having a great, great Saturday. And we'll do better next time. Peace.